I love Studio One, but there are a few features inside of this software that just don't make any sense. But one of the great things about Studio One is that it is completely customizable and you can do anything you want. So I'm going to show you the worst feature inside of Studio One and how I use macros and key commands to overcome those issues and actually make this a smoother and faster DAW than any other DAW I've messed with. So if you are a Studio One user, I have free presets for recording vocals. Just click the link in the description and download them for free. It is super easy. You just drag and drop them onto your track and you are good to go. So now let's jump into the DAW. So I was messing around with this track that sounds like this. And so I had these vocal chops down here that kind of sound like this. And it's basically just me saying, I'm stuck on you, I'm stuck on you. And then I have all of these plugins on it to make it sound like this. And I was noticing as I was going through these vocal chops and I was selecting all of these different regions, I was zooming in and out constantly. And there's a few ways of zooming in and out of Studio One. And this right here is the worst way. If you take your mouse and you come all the way up here and you click and drag to zoom in and out, that is the most inefficient way. I don't even know why that's a feature up there. It just frustrates me. So a few ways I like to zoom in and out is by using the control and shift buttons while I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse. So if I hold control and I zoom in and zoom out with the scroll wheel, I can hold shift and go side to side. Then I can also hold control and shift at the same time and I can shrink or enlarge in the region that I want. Wherever I'm pointing my mouse to is wherever it's going to zoom in at. That is so handy, but it's still slow. I like to work as fast as I can, so that way I really get into a flow state and I'm not wasting my time or my client's time. So if you come up here to Studio One and click Keyboard Shortcuts, you can just type in Zoom and look at all these options we have for Zoom. So one we are going to look at is Zoom Overview, and then we are also going to zoom to selection. So here I have shift and Z. Um, you can assign any key, you just click assign key or enter key and then shift and Z and then you can just click assign. I already have it assigned there. And then also for zoom overview, which is shift and X. So now when I'm coming in here and I'm taking a look at these vocal chops and I'm you know editing them or I'm moving them around and then I'm zooming back in and out, this can be so much faster. I just select what I want to zoom in on. I click shift and Z. I'm there. Shift and X. And now I'm back out to my overview. Let's say I want to take a look at this drum loop. Shift and Z. Here's my drum loop. Back to overview. What about this respace? Bam. What about this vocal chop here? Bam. It is so stinking fast. Now there is also another thing inside of Studio One that frustrates me as well. And Logic did this and a few other DAWs I messed around with did this, but you had to come all the way up here and click to where you wanted to go. This is so inefficient. If I want my playhead here, I gotta put it over here, or put it over here. I gotta come all the way up here and click it and then go back down. And that is just inefficient. Well, if you come over here to the gear icon, you can come down here and click this right here, locate when clicked in empty space. And once we check that box, now if we have an empty space down here, we can click and our playhead goes right to that spot because why else would you click in a blank space anyway? So now I can zoom into this vocal chop and I can just click in this empty space. I can zoom back out. I can zoom into this one here, start here, zoom back out. It is so handy and just really efficient. Studio One is a fantastic DAW because it gets out of the way of you and making music. Once you start learning the macros and the key commands instead of Studio One, you are never gonna be able to go back. Another great feature about Studio One is the smart tools. And if you wanna know about those, click this video right here. It takes a bit to get used to, but once you get used to it, I promise you, you will never ever want to go back. So now as always, go create.